Good morning guys, happy Wednesday. Thank you for joining me back on my channel for another workout with me. Um, today we're gonna go through a two circuit with an ab finisher hit workout. Um, if you have dumbbells or some kind of um, object you can use for bicep curls around your house, um, nothing too heavy depending on um, your strength level, that would be awesome. There is an option not to have any equipment. Um, I'll run through that, but if you do have some equipment, pause the video, go grab it and come back. Uh, we're gonna start off with a warm up. So on your mat, wherever you are, we're gonna do 10 front arm circles. Okay, and then 10 backwards, that full range of motion in those shoulders. Okay, you're gonna do toe touch, alternating toe touches. So down, really stretch out the lower back. Your other hand can come up for stability behind you as you work through here. Whatever that stretch looks like, whether your knees are bent to get your hand all the way down to your toes, please do that. It's not meant to be uncomfortable. It's meant for that range of motion. Warm up those muscles before we get going. Okay, and then we're gonna do 30 high knees. And then 30 butt kicks. Awesome. All right, so for today's first circuit, we're gonna have four movements. It's gonna be four sets, so four and four, easy to remember. 40 seconds on, 20 seconds of rest, and um, we're just gonna get right into it. I'm gonna show you um, each move as we start each set, and go from there. All right, so we're starting in three seconds here. So the first movement, is a burpee so whether it's down like this or it is down all the way when you come up i want you to land in a low squat hold for two seconds and back down so just a quick half burpee back down okay work through that we have 40 seconds here I was going with my timer sorry keep going guys okay 20 more seconds Three, two, one. All right, we have 20 seconds. Uh, while we take this break, I'll explain through the next one. Um, so this one we're gonna be doing 10 quick feet into four Spider-Mans. So quick feet, we're starting now. So your arms out, do 10 up to the side, almost like you're in football, and then down to Spider-Mans. So you're down in that plank, alternating that feet. Back up and down.
All right, rest. And then this is where, if you guys have any kind of weight um, to use, like dumbbells or cans of soup, whatever you have laying around, uh, we have five more seconds here and then we'll get into that, this exercise. So it's a reverse lunge. So one knee back up to a bicep curl and then alternate legs throughout these 40 seconds with that curl at the top. I want you to make sure your back is straight and it's your arms bringing in that weight. If you don't have weight, when you get to the top, just do the range of motion. Engage that core through this whole movement. You've got that extra challenge with that weight at your sides. Perfect. And then our fourth movement we're gonna work through. So there is, you're gonna start in a plank. You're gonna reach to one side, come back, do a plank jack, and then reach to the other side. Okay, and go. So reach to one side. Every time you reach, you do a plank jack and back. If you find this is too easy, once you do the reach, you can do a double where your arms and your legs go down. 15 more seconds. These are your four movements. We've got three more sets after this movement. Two, one. All right, so we're gonna start back up in 15 seconds with that burpee to squat hold. Three, two, one. Halfway. Grab some water if you need it. Transitioning to those quick feet to the Spider-Mans. Again, that's 10 quick feet, four Spider-Mans total. And go. more seconds. Awesome. And one. Fifteen more seconds.
awesome. Down to our map for those plank reaches with that plank jack. Four, three, two, one. Grab some water if you need it. We are halfway through our first circuit. We have two more sets to go. Maya came by for some moral support. <laughs> yeah. We got two more seconds. We're going down for that burpee to squat hold. And go. Okay, Maya. Come here. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, okay. Bye, Maya. Oh, goodness. Okay. 15 more seconds. Three, two, one. Five more seconds, we're gonna get into that quick feet to Spider-Man. Final 10 seconds. Break. Three, two, one. Halfway. Five more seconds. Good job. Final movement of our third set here and we have one more time going through. Five more seconds, come down to your mat and go. Halfway. Last 10 seconds. You got this. Push through. Five more seconds. Three, two, one.
All right, guys, final set. Last time doing these burpees to squat hold. Three, two, one. Fifteen more seconds. Thank you, Maya. Maya, come on. Six more seconds. Take your twenty seconds here. I'm just gonna let Maya inside. Five more seconds here, getting into those quick feet to Spider-Man. Halfway. Final 20 seconds here. Last 10. All right. Last break here. We're going to get into those planks and then take a nice break and then we're going to finish off with our other circuit and then our finisher of course and then you are done go More than halfway. Three, two, one. All right, guys, we finished our first circuit. Those four movements are off the books now and we are gonna move on to circuit two. I'm gonna give you guys 40 seconds of rest here, catch your breath, grab some water, recover, and we're gonna step into that, that final circuit before our finisher. While you're taking this break, I will show you the three movements. So three sets, three movements, and then the circuit's done. So the first one, you're gonna be in a squat and you're going to step out and back in, out and back in. Staying in that low position, tapping that other leg out and back in for those 40 seconds. And then you're going to do Five jumping jacks. 
down to a full burpee. So whether your chest is all the way to the ground or you're doing that push-up position and then right back to those five jumping jacks. And then you're going to do uh, an inchworm. So down to a push-up, back up into a squat jump. And then you're gonna rotate through there. If you find that push-up and that inchworm is too much, um, go down to your knees, do the push-up, and then come back up to finish the inchworm. Um, yeah, so three movements, three sets, same time frame, so 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, and we're going through that again three times. I'm sure I've said that a billion times. We have 20 more seconds for that final break, and we're getting into those squat taps. So reminder here to stay low in that squat position when you're tapping to really feel it on the sides of your legs. And go. Give you an idea on the side. You are halfway. Two, one. Okay, 15 seconds left. And we're gonna get into that five jumping jacks down to a single burpee. And three, two, one. more than halfway. And break. The circuit's gonna go by pretty quick because we only have three movements and we're only doing three sets. So try and give it your all, get your heart rate up, max out those reps in each movement. We got three more seconds and then down to our inchworms. Fifteen more seconds. Three, two, one. All right, guys, two more sets, and then we're on to our finisher, and we are done. Three more seconds. If you're finding the leg tap halfway through gets too much, just hold. Hold that squat, pulse. You can do a wider sumo squat. Option there to pulse. Just stay in that squat position for that full time. You're more than halfway. You have the final 10 seconds here. Five 
five, four, three, two, one. Final 10 seconds. Try and get one more in here. And break. Three, two, and one down to those inchworms. Halfway. Three, two, one. Grab some water if you need it. We have one more set. You got this. Three more minutes of work here on this circuit. Three, two, one. Halfway. It's your final time here. Give it your all. Final 10 seconds. Push through, don't stop. Don't you dare stop. Five more seconds. Good work. Whew. Three, two, one. Halfway. Good job. 20 more seconds. Last move. And then we have our ab finisher. Super quick. Burn those abs out and then you are done with this workout. Three, two, one. Halfway. Two, one. All right, guys, good work. We are through the two circuits for today. If you're sticking around for that ab finisher, grab some water, catch your breath and I will 
explain through these movements. So there are four movements in this finisher. We're gonna go through it two times. And the intervals are gonna be the exact same other than we're gonna do um, 10 seconds of rest in between the movements rather than 20, just to really make sure we get that burnout. Um, so let me just start my timer here. All right, so our first move is a single leg crunch. So you are down, whether for you that looks like your one leg is hovering and for the first 20 seconds, you do one leg. If that's too hard, put your foot down and then switch. Again, option for it to be a bit harder. Through here. Three, two, one. And then 10 seconds, and then we're gonna go into V ups. And three, two, one. So again, option, arms can be back as your legs extend out. We are doing this for 40 seconds, so whatever that looks like for you, if you want to be a bit harder, you can keep your arms up or overhead for the most challenging. Halfway. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, 10 seconds. And then we're gonna get into plank reaches. So you're gonna be in that high plank position and you're gonna reach out an arm and hold it for two seconds and then bring it back. Try and keep your body level, your butt in that middle ground, not sunk not up high. The farther your feet are out, the easier it is for you to raise those legs. So I'll let you gauge where you need them for that movement. Final 10 seconds. Three, two, one. And then our last movement is the oblique crunch. So halfway through, I'll let you know to switch. So start with your legs bent and you're gonna turn them to the side wherever they land and lay on your back. And then do a crunch with your legs over to the side. We're here for two more seconds and we're gonna switch our legs, okay? Switch the legs to the other side, and then do that crunch. Three, two, one. All right, we have one more set here and then we are done for the day. So back to those single leg crunches wherever your leg was last time, if you want the challenge, Start with this leg. <laughs> we are switching halfway. I will let you know when to do that. Switch. transition we're going to be doing those v-ups one last time whether your arms are behind you overhead halfway
Awesome work. Over to our plank reaches one more time. Last time here. And go. More than halfway. No, there ain't no stopping us. Awesome. And our final movement of this workout, those obliques in that crunch. Remember, keep your legs to one side for that first 20 seconds and then we rotate. Rotate, legs to the other side, and then crunch. And you are done. All right, guys, thank you so much again for joining me. If this was your first workout with me. Thank you for joining. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have not yet subscribed, please click that subscribe button. Join me every Wednesday for a workout with me. Um, all at home, wherever you are, no equipment. Equipment if you want it, um, always the option there. And uh, hope you guys have an amazing day and I look forward to seeing you next Wednesday. Bye guys.